together again to entertain and play games. Welcome back, we're the 2-Bit Players. One more push. One more push. One more push. Insert baby scream. It's a, it's a boy. It's the 2-Bit Players. <laughs> it's the 2-Bit Players, two of them. I'm Noah. I'm Jeffrey. I just finished eating some popcorn chicken, so forgive my lip smacking. And we were just pushed out of the deadly premonition's womb. Uh -huh. The womb of doom, if womb you will. Womb of doom. All right, I gotta I find presume? something that the can- The womb of doom, <clears throat> I presume. Mm. And then the womb of doom is like, Nah, it's me, nah, <laughs> Dis me, Desmond Hume. <laughs> Desmond Hume? Yeah, from Lost. Oh, the womb of doom, Desmond Hume, <laughs> I presume. Anyway, picture of relief. Is this gonna be the thing that's gonna push him over the edge? Maybe, we'll see. Maybe it might make him fume. Hmm. What did we just say? We don't want to remember. Greenvale. This isn't a photo from Greenvale. Look closely at it. Former. How dare he assume? Greenvale. Is that the community <laughs> college? Greendale. Greendale. I just uh. did another womb rhyme. You didn't care. Oh, what'd you say? I said, how dare he assume. Oh, okay. Is there anything else that rhymes with um? Yeah, I'm working on it. Mm -hmm. This photograph predates Greenvale. It's from the Lucare case you worked on in 2000. Red. Red tree. Red tree. Yes. A red tree. red tree. The tree is red, red for Russia, for communism. Communism is at hand of uh, uh, Democrats. It was the Democrats. <laughs> Aren't they? Red trees. Answer me. What are these trees? Have you seen that like logic jump? I think John Oliver did a bit on it on some insanely right wing news network that was like, oh, these penguins, you know aren't gendered or whatever so and if we and if we abolish penguin gender is that going to lead us to human gender and if human gender doesn't mean anything does that mean the communists finally win and if the communists <laughs> finally like it's a bit more subtle and nuanced on that but it like goes through like 10 questions eventually like because this penguin exists godzilla is going to come and like destroy <laughs> all, all of america yeah <laughs> the red trees you really oh, you still talking about the red trees? Cool. Mm -hmm. I didn't miss anything. I think we were talking. I forgot to press the A button. Damn. Oh. <laughs> I cut him off there. Are you? I want to know what went down in Lucare in 2005. How do you say 2005 in Spanish? Gosh. We'll tell you. I have no idea. You say thousand in Spanish. Thundo. Dos thundo cinco. <laughs> we'll tell you what happened exactly. In town. Hey, we'll tell you what happened in that town. Yes. Cut to flashback. Cut to gameplay? Question mark? Cut to something happening? Mm hmm The sun comes down hard on you in the south, like a torrential downpour of demonic whispers. That's poetic. All started back in that sweltering summer. We still had our best And it cuts friends. to the video game Alan Wake. The other yes. And you just play that whole game. Have you ever played that game? No, I never have, actually. It was Better. good, but repetitive. Hmm. There's... How many of them were there? It was just one, and then like a sort of DLC, standalone oh. DLC sort of thing. I was thinking of Max Payne. Yeah, there were three of those. <clears throat> oh, the game started. Hey, Toy Box presents. Oh my god! Welcome everybody. It's episode three. It's been so. Long. Oh, there was a oh joke I was reading in a review that they spent all their production budget on making this intro video. <laughs> yeah, this has a James Bond vibe. Yeah. Game design by Sweary. Do you have to mute this audio? I don't know. I'll just sing along with it. The here is gonna sing you as I fall words. through the smoke. Chris Smith, Cassandra Morris. <laughs> Chris Smith, Cassandra Morris. Mardi Gras beads, cause we're in Louisiana. Um, There's a snake is, and a some snake. tits. Have you ever heard the song <laughs> Snake Farm? No. Dude. Snake is, Farm. Uh, it's kind of creepy. Snake Farm. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? It's, like a, it's not called Snake Farm. I have to. Is it by Crispin it Glover? <laughs> Crispin Glover. Did he do that Clown Town song? Oh, Clowny Clown Clown. Yes, parentheses no. Clown 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 Clown. Snake Farm is uh, marijuana hey, twerking. The booty cheeks, bruh. Um, Snake Farm is like a. It's like a. Like a rock western song. Okay. About a snake farm and this guy singing about Snake Farm. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Um, I'll have to send it to you. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, whoa! This looks like a really bad, out-of-touch, like, political ad, too. 
is like, hi, I'm York Morgan, and I'm running for Congress. Yeah. Here's why you should vote, vote for me. Snakes, blood, Resident Evil footage. <laughs> Seriously. Fat Man and D Dalmatian. Bling, Las Plagas. What is this intro? This is de the Deadly Premonition, Jeffrey. Directed by Sweary? Sweary. That's the guy's, like, oh. name. Like, Prince. When, or Cher. Oh God. That's oh, like when, when Terminator 4 was directed by Mick G. <laughs> just fuck you. What is it? Mick G? Mick G. Oh, MCG. Said... Gotcha. One word. I see. Capital M, lowercase c, capital G. Mick G. It's a roller coaster of a name. It's a dumb name. <laughs> what He's... else did Mick G direct? Uh, Charlie's Angels 1 and 2. Zan. Naturally. Oh! <gasps> Are we playing? We're playing now, Jeffrey. Crank that volume back up, you son of a bitch. Do something. We're not playing, you fucking liar. Can you hear me, Zach? I'm back as York. He's asking about Zach. Who's Zach? Who I think's the real person. Answer. answer. I answer. Oh my god. I had to press it. There you are, Zach. <gasps> <laughs> Is this game fucking with me? No, it's Is it not. trying to be the most boring fucking game ever? You know, it might be, actually. <laughs> Just like, oh Rise my god. It's time for us Within minutes, we were shooting backwards, upside down zombie demons in the first game. Within minutes, I was capping them in the face. Within minutes, I was careening headlong off a cliff. Oh my god, tearing through the fucking woods and right? shit's on fire and... Oh my god... It's a statement piece, Jeffrey. You said we were playing. Oh, God. Why does my mic keep falling? You got to like... I did. Really weirdly positioned there. Oh, Dead to E Premonition. Oh, the game started. I was fixing my mic. Don't mic me. Don't mic, don't mic me. <laughs> this is terrible. It doesn't even make sense. Oh. Shift it over. I'm going to just... Why? Why do you think that Because it's probably be drilling into a hole that has no support anymore. Summer 05. Uh, Jeffrey's holding his mic like a rock star. Yeah! <laughs> I can't shift it out because I can't twist it. I feel like I'm making it looser, actually. Oh, we playing? Looks like she wants us to join her for breakfast. Perhaps this town's finally starting to warm up to us. What the fuck? Francis York Morgan. Look at that, Zach. She's welcoming us with open arms. She's even willing to share that tasty morsel with us. What an honor. Uh, hello? <laughs> hello, I'm back. Sit forward a little bit, too. No! Because <clears throat> see, it's, it's ripping their... Place. I've but yours is. Top of the moon since the moment I got Just here. hold it. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck and this the game. Name of this wonderful town, Lacare. Sounds like French to me. But what does it mean? I think it means the car. <laughs> I'm the chef, David. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm the chef, time, David. <laughs> you yes. Only amateur chefs flap their gums about stuff that ain't food related. What? David Jawara, chef. I won't answer anything that ain't food related because I'm no amateur chef. Is that what he said? He said only amateur chefs flap, flap their gums about things that aren't food related. Uh, no, no. Which means I'm going to ask him just talking to Zach. some stuff and he's going to be like, I'm just, I'm a pro chef. So uh, I just got a quick question about the murder that happened last night. Yeah. Oh, was it a f murder? Did they murder the fucking food? Can't answer that. Is that food related? They murdered that dinner last night, I'll tell you what. Yeah, but I didn't come here for an investigation. I just happened to stop by on my way to New Orleans. Do I look like I'm here in work mode? <laughs> Never thought there'd be a murder out here either. And it was a 16-year-old kid. Now I tell you, this country seen better days. What you reckon, mister? Back when we had axes and guns on the walls of every establishment, <laughs> not just my restaurant. Also a bit lonesome. That's good. Ambivalence exists everywhere. 
Folks say the killer used an axe. Hell of an old fashioned. Not at all like the ones on my wall. <laughs> you don't want to look at those over there. <laughs> Actually, Chef David, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Was this the vacation he was on where he solved the murder? Yeah, just like for fun. For funsies. Be asking Mr. FBI. You ought to be asking the killer, Grant, right over there. <laughs> right over there. <laughs> but seeing as you're fixing to grill me, I bet I can link this into food somehow. <laughs> <laughs> fixing to grill me? Um, okay, what do you know about the victim? Where's the Clarkson's house? What's the local law enforcement doing? Thanks. That'll be all. <laughs> 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 Goodbye. To appease Jeffrey, I'm gonna... Thank you. Mm -hmm. Watch out, you don't go get in heat stroke. The least Clarkson case. To 95, that's not too hot. Although it's Louisiana, it's Hosanna. It's probably 120% humidity. That's super hot. Yeah. Guided us to New Orleans. We should be thanking Malcolm McDowell. Once we get home, let's watch Blue Thunder again. I'm already looking forward to it. Aren't you, Zach? Zach, the searing light. Mmm, the scent. It's the deep south. Mmm, that was a fabulous breakfast. I haven't yeah, touched it at all. <laughs> Is that a bullet casing? Where? In oh. the middle of the fucking food? It might be like fried okra or something. Uh, wait, mister. You didn't take a second. Oh, hey, cool. Did we were we right. We were right in our assumptions. I love that the only actual gameplay you've done, you could literally do nothing but walk upstairs. That's true. And press A. And that happened weeks ago. Okay, I think I've cracked the case on my mic stand. I think, I think I've, I think it's, okay. I'm feeling good about this. I'm waiting. Okay, it's Did on it there work? for now. Whew, oh Jeffrey's fixed his mic and we're ready to play this game. My quests have been updated. Yes. Yes. Zombie Nazis start flying through oh the walls God. all of a sudden and he just like unloads. Just fucking, psh, 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 fucking John Wick's that shit. Get that big Wick energy. Fucking dope. I did read something that the game barely chugs past 30 frames per second and that... Is the it? director is like, I will not fix this in a patch. It is part of the game. It is the experience you need. Is it? Is it? Is the frames low right now? It is, is very chuggy. I can never tell frame rates. It's if it never... looks like it, if it looks like it's got like s sports mode on on your TV, that's like sixty and plus. Sports mode? Yeah, like if you're watching, if you're watching football, you know all the sport that you watch, Jeffrey. <laughs> The fuck is football? Yeah, the motion, uh, reducing motion blur. Talking about European soccer? Exactly, football. European soccer? Oh wait, I got a quest. Let's see here. Yeah, frame rate never bothers me. Mm, me neither. And I'm either. gonna keep it that way. Unless Ooh. it's like lagging. Cracking open the case. Return to York's room and review the case. Oh, good. This I is don't... awesome. His room is down here. Lisa's this looks what familiar. It... Really? This kind of looks like the mansion in Conquer a looks little like bit. like Luigi's Mansion also? Yeah, it looks like Luigi's Mansion, Noah. <laughs> you are an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're a little testy now from this game, but... Did you just refer to my balls, dude? <laughs> as testy? As testy. Did you refer to my balls as little? <laughs> I no. have big balls, by the way. You freaking jerkhead. They call me BBBW. Big balls, by the way? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> BBBW. BBBTW. By the way. BBBT dubs. BBBTW. Seeing it all over America, but ooh, I feel like we're finally on the verge of finding something now. Don't you, Zach? I think it's about time. This is wildly different from the demonic, yes, I know this one backwards contortionist it too demons we were murdering. I feel like we'll get there, but I honestly have no idea. This stains from Miami. Have you ever played this game before? No, it literally just came out. It's a fascinating kid. Billy, our per uh, A week ago now. A week ago now, that's true. <laughs> what? Billy, our perp, cut his own torso right in two. <laughs> Feet like 
that's still a feat like that still requires incredible mental fortitude. Still, even in this day and age. Floor. Yeah. The floor his blood gushed out onto. Music is jamming, though. It's got a great new age jazz soundtrack. After a trip down memory lane. But if you insist, let's play some more of the first game again. St. Rouge. Evidence. St. Rouge. In four southern states. Personally, I think it originated right here in Louisiana. And Just because I hate the South. <laughs> and the South is filled with murderers. The 16-year-old girl who was murdered. <laughs> little stamp. An axe did this. Axe did this cutting motion through her head. strange altar. The man who essentially controls the town of Lucare. And he seems to be more fearsome than your average gangster. I doubt he'll be willing to cooperate with any law enforcement, Zach. I have organized the evidence. Excellent. And on that note... Clear! We beat the game! Our voices are small, but we'll reach who we can. Listen up. Black Lives Matter. Seriously, just donate if you can.